Hey, what's up my fish tank guys and girls? It's been a long time since I've given you guys a saltwater rookie update, which is an update on my 29 gallon bio cube here. I think it's been about a year. I may have missed a video in there somewhere, but I believe the last update I gave was in January of 2020, which is really hard to believe. So, uh, there have been a lot of changes in the tank. I've removed things, I've added things, and I'm also gonna give you guys a teaser of a change that I'm going to be making to the aquarium that I'm really excited about that's going to happen within the next couple weeks. So, uh, let's take a look at the BioCube and see how everything is doing. So as we make our way around the tank, I have a frog spawn here. This frog spawn used to be much larger. It used to be on the right side of the aquarium, but my pencil urchin managed to knock it over and break it into pieces. So I ended up fragging it into, I wanna say seven or eight different frags. And I kept one for this tank. So I moved it to the left side in the front. It has some room to grow and I think it adds some nice movement to the aquarium. Now moving over here, you'll see I have a small group of zoanthids. I don't know what these are called, but they're nice. They add some color to the aquarium. So up next, we have the cabbage leather. It actually is not doing as good as it used to be. It doesn't, you know, it's not so flowery. Um, I can tell the tips aren't open the way it used to be, but I'm actually not too mad about this because this coral has somewhat become a nuisance coral in this aquarium. It grows very quickly and it actually creates a lot of shade for corals underneath it. So I'm okay with this slowing down in terms of growth a bit. Up next, you'll see here I have a small frag of Blue Ridge coral on the bottom. Uh, not, I wasn't sure really where to put this. I hope it grows you know, fairly decently down here. I don't really expect it to go crazy, but I would like it to kind of cover the whole bottom there with uh, the row, like, you know, it will have rows of polyps and rows of extensions coming out of that Blue Ridge Coral. I think that'll be kind of cool. Up next is my favorite coral in the tank. This is a trachophilia. It's primarily green in color. It's definitely um, amazing to look at and it looks like a big old piece of jello. I love feeding this thing reef roids. It opens up, it gets all big and puffy. You can tell it's nice and happy after it has some reef roids. This is definitely my favorite coral in the whole tank. I wish I could have a whole bunch of these. And I think over time, I will try to amass a few more of them. Up next, this is my Incredible Hulk SPS coral. It's doing very well in this tank. It has grown and spread over this rock over the last few years. I actually had to break off a branch of it. Well, I didn't break it off on purpose. I broke it off on accident. Um, but other than that, it's doing very well. Okay, so in this shot, you'll see three different coral. I actually have some Xenia. I have some bright neon green pallies, and then I also have some Rasta zoanthids. Um, these are all newer additions to the aquarium. I actually was going to take the Xenia out. It was on a it was on like a small piece of rock. And when I removed it, the piece that you see remaining grew onto the main rock work. So I just left it there. Up next, you'll see my Favias. Uh, right now, there's a big kind of gap in the middle. That's because green algae a few months ago caused a lot of problems and the Favia started retracting and dying off in spots. But I'm hoping that over time, it's going to continue to grow. It will grow back together and continue covering that rock work down in that right corner. I really like the Favia. It really looks really nice under the blue lights with the uh, green eyes. So I'm, I'm hoping that that continues to grow and spread on the rock. Up next, I have some orange A-cans. Again, these A-cans used to look much better when I originally purchased them, but I had them in the basement. They were neglected for some time, and now I'm just trying to nurse them back to health. Last but not least, this is a bird's nest coral. I've never had a coral like this. I took my wife to the fish store with me and she thought it was cool. I thought it was cool too, so I added it to the aquarium. Back here, you'll see two more coral. I actually have a bluish purple candy cane coral along with another favia. This is called, uh, this is like a dragon's eye favia or something like that. I don't know the names for them. 
Um, but these guys are just kind of hanging out in the back for now. I'm going to try to figure out what to do with them. One of the candy cane coral pieces is going to go into the Fluval Evo and maybe the other will stay in this tank. Once again, I am the Fish Tank Guy. Thank you so much for checking out this video and checking out my channel. Uh, I really appreciate it. Go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section below if you'd like. If you have not yet subscribed, please consider doing so. Stay tuned to the channel for more updates on the BioCube here along with my Fluval Evo Aquarium that I'm really enjoying working on, uh, you know, along with other miscellaneous tips and tricks videos here and there. So uh, that's all I've got for today. So until a future Fish Tank Guy video, I will see you guys soon.